Hello there and welcome back to some Crusader Kings 2 with the Game of Thrones mod. Playing as Tywin Lannister here. Now I will warn you ahead of time, it's been about 10 days since I have visited the save. I had a lot going on. My uh, new kitten arrived a while back so I have been a bit busy watching uh, the two cats. Usually I'd uh, leave that sort of thing to my missus but she's actually got a job herself now so I have to take on a lot more of the uh, responsibilities around the house and that has uh, just delayed me a little bit especially with the kitten because I did have to keep an eye on them while integrating them and I had to socialize him because he's uh, from the wild really so it's uh, it's been a bit of a fun time I have uh, also been playing CK3 and I want to get that up to uh, date this is also a uh, good break for me on that so where we left off we just defunded Jamie's campaign for re-election because he well was winning re-election without the need of our help uh, we do have a lot of money to spend if we did so desire. I want this area to... Uh, I want Westeros to be rebuilt. Now there's only the one place really that we could uh, fix. And that is Summer Hall, which has been fixed before. But this time I will give it to the Stormlands. Because otherwise Lance is just going to fuck everything up. Because he's a bit of a dumbass. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to colonize Summer Hall for 400 gold. We're then going to give it to... I uh, know Jerrion's not an option. There is... Uh, Kevin, any other children? No. Tiget how many children? He did have a child. In fact, he was the man of that area. So wasn't he somewhere off? No, Lannis. Lannis East. Over there. Because okay, so we're going to give it to uh, another Lancel. Lancel of Lancel. We're going to go ahead and transfer him over to Lancel. Now I can find him around here anywhere. There he is. Lancel to Lancel. Good boy. Go play with yourself, Lancel. And let's just uh, get back to the realm. Oh. See there, you do own all of these lands. Good, good. Uh, my vassal Lord Paramount Marek Macy tried to have Lord Morm Old Flowers of Claw Isle arrested. Didn't work though, did it? He's uh, risen his banner in rebellion. He does that number the man by quite a bit though. Your Excellency, I write on behalf of the bank to express the consternation of the actions of us. Yeah, I really don't care there. Uh, Haddock would like to get married. Um, yeah, we'll find him somebody nice. This is Haddock after all. He deserves something good in life. He uh, wasn't blessed with a name, now was he? Let's see what we can find. Somebody around here taking my fancy at all? Anybody with a fish in their sigil, perhaps? No, but there's a boar. Joy, she is very good. Caught here to black cells. Ah. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be because of him, not because she's in jail or anything. She's just helping out. Yeah, Joy, let, let's show sure. Sure, let's have this match up. She's got some terrific traits there. Thank you. Lancel. No, not Lancel. Haddock, we could could have put you on the King's Guard. You're absolutely useless, but... Nah, he, he wouldn't actually be an option, would he? Grant him a knighthood. But I need my prestige. Not for any particular reason, just because I want to hoard it. What have we got? Commander Slot, we'll give that to... Whoa, let's not scroll down there. Tristan Summons. Baron... Oh, of course, yes, we have the uh, lands over here now, don't we? We just took it. So, yeah, I'll put him as a commander. What was this? My wife, uh, the High Septon's declared, and something rather upon my wife for her supposed sins, excluding her from the faith. Well, that's no fair. She's a convert. Oh. Oh, I'm not a fan of that at all. Why are they be so horrible to my wife? Also, I must be careful. People are about trying to kill me. I'm 65, though. It shouldn't be too hard. After meeting this small council, King Jamie Lance has recommended that Sir Harlan Fell be named to the King's Guard. Harlan Fell, you say? Let's actually have a look. I didn't know there was a King's Guard. Ah. There is a position free, and it looks like uh, Macy here has died. Oh, wh why is that up? Oh, because I was looking for character search, probably. Okay, well, let's search the realm for men unmarried adults of great houses. Let's see if there's any good commanders who can fight here. Donald Bracken at 80. What was this guy at? 70. So Donald... Donald. Donald. <laughs> That's who they're voting for down in uh, down in Deep South, I think. Donald. Vote Donald. 2020. <laughs> or is it more Donald? Donald. Ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, that's a shit bit of junk, but it's, it's still funny. I think we might have just put him in the, uh... I'll have to put him straight in. Yeah, 65, no good umber. 90, but I don't think a Northman would take it. Brown Barrow, whoever the fuck you are. Or umbers. Yeah, unless it could be a Northman. Looks like, uh... Ooh, you are very good, though. Roderick Dustin. 
But we'll give it to Darnold and see if... Wait, I can't do it. Darnold, why? Well, let's turn down this guy. I don't think so, buddy. And then we'll uh, offer it to you. What? He says no. He's also a pirate. Ah, I I missed that bit. Yes, I did. Let, let's see if we can get that uh, Roderick Dustin to join the King's Guard. He's a Northman. He says no. Joy Woolfield, Devance. I make was good. Another Umber. Come on, it's got to be a Northman out there who wants to join the King's Guard. There was other Umbers up north. Uh, Royce. Another Umber. Winton Umber. Roos Umber. Let's try Roos Umber first. He will take it. The best Umber fighter of the lot has actually taken it. We now have a Northman on the King's Guard. Very good, very good. Keep them uh, nice and loyal. Roos. Roos. Good stuff. Let's uh, continue in, shall we? He's very young as well, so he'll be around in King's Guard for quite a while unless something bad were to happen. What is this? Your Excellency, I humbly ask you to intervene on behalf. No, no, screw you. I'll vote against. And, whoa. Gregor the Mountain is dead. He was slain by himself. He tripped and fell. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah. Oh, unless Jamie killed him. Looks more like Jamie might have killed him, but uh, the game glitched out there. Jamie, you shouldn't be risking yourself fighting the mountain. Whoa, Cersei's dead. Suspicious circumstances. Well, that's uh, to be expected. Uh, honor a funeral? Yeah, sure. Um, all the lords and ladies of the realm will be invited to Cersei's wedding. It's more of a celebration, really. It's like when Thatcher died. Let's get everyone. Uh, everyone's invited. I, of course... Was I even alive when Thatcher died? I don't know, but I've heard plenty of jokes. My favorite one is about the, uh, the Scottish joke where... Um, for the cost of her funeral, we could have given every man in Scotland a shovel and they would have dug a hole so deep you could have handed her over to Satan themselves. It's something like that. It's, it's a good joke. It's better when somebody like Frankie Boyle says. I haven't watched any Frankie Boyle in probably 10 years, but I do remember that joke because it just tickled me in the right way. Spymaster! Somebody who isn't going to kill me. That would be you. The other ones didn't like me too much now, did they? Alright. Looks like these uh, flower fellows might have been beaten there. Ooh, feast commence. Great. I like when feasts commence. Lord Paramount's Lancel Lannister has used his attendance at the feast in the Red Keep to present a petition for justice before the court. He claims that Lord Ronald Stout subjugated him to unwarranted and false blackmail. Demands justice. Oh, we'll always stand with the uh, Lannister, won't we? Yeah, screw you, sir. Amanda Lee versus a Stark. Oh, I'd rather have the Stark on my side, I'm afraid. Uh, Terence Keltigar has used his tension to keep it. Same old thing. Wait, 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 what's this? It's different. He claims that Maester Kralian sullied his honour by having illicit relations with his wife behind his back. Maester Kralian. She's half your age. Not quite, she's a lot less than... She's a lot less, yeah. She's, she's not half your age. She's more than half your age, so it's not that bad, actually. Isn't it, um... What is the rule for youngest you would go with? Isn't it like half your age plus nine? Is is that the maths? I'm 25. Let's round it up to 26. So 13 plus nine would be 22. So any younger than 22 is sort of weird for me as a 25 year old. My, my girlfriend, uh, my missus here is actually 22 herself. So that would work out. I wouldn't imagine myself being with a teenager, but maybe someone 20 or 21. I don't know, I just, I can't imagine myself at this age being with someone who's still studying in school. So I think uh, half age plus nine is the sort of thing. So if we go with this guy here, he is 52. So 26 plus nine is 35. So yes, it's a bit bit dirty of him to be going off of her. It's close though. Um, Who do we like more? This guy's a knight in my court. This is my maester. Uh, <laughs> must be arrested. Uh, do we do we dislike the cucker or the cuck? Who are we going with, the cucker or the cuck? Uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, I don't want to say the word, but let, let's just say it. it's pretty based of this man to be going and seducing his wife. So we'll, uh, we'll say he's clear, not guilty of his accusations. What is this? Roland Storm has, uh, accused somebody of doing the same thing. Bryce, nice song, yeah, we're always going to side with the, uh, the man doing the cucking, not the cuck. 
Sir Damien Lance has presented a petition requesting commission to press sailors into the service of Red Claw and Lord Magister's other ships, as well as petitions of his own barge. What is it created? You shall get something or other. I lose gold! What? Oh, nonsense. All right. The funeral. Packs upon packs of people, present and noble alike, gather in celebration in the streets of Lannisport to catch a glimpse of the deceased and ensure she is truly dead. As the procession leads the body of Cersei through the crowded streets to the Lion's Moor, the entrance to Castle Rock, the populace chants in happiness and cheer as the dead passes by. Once they pass through the Lion's Moor, the riders dismount and the procession continues onto the Hall of Heroes on foot, where the bodies of the, of the descendants of Lan the Clever have been buried since the immemorial. There, surrounded by the armour of Lannister heroes of old, fresh stone sarcoph sarcophagus has been carved, displaying the likeness of Cersei with a stone lion curled beneath her. The Septon of Castle Rock begins a service of remembrance for Cersei, and the cheers and, and triumphant shouts from the assembled party rise louder as they pray to the gods that she is truly dead. As the sun fades away, a great feast is held in celebration. Those who knew the dead recount stories of their life and the terror she caused. Next, we gain a bit of piety there. Oh, Edison. Poor old Edison. He needs a new wife. He deserves only the finest of women. Who we got? 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 What about uh, Lady Stark? Is she still an option? Edison Tolle. Oh, Gilly. Yes. Yes, Gilly is a terrific option. She's blind, but, you know, it's it's Gilly. Sure, let, let's marry Gilly off to Ed now. He's going to go from Cersei to Gilly. And that's going to be brilliant. What What is this? Tybalt Lannister has done something. What has he done? So Tybalt has become quite taken with one of his serving girls. She is half his age. Ah, good man. And he is more than old enough to be her father. But he has apparently managed to woo her with gifts and kind words. Today, they united in marriage. A sly old fox. Who do you marry then? 20 years old and attractive. John Miller. Well done, boy. Oh. Excellent, we have got uh, Gilly the Exile to come over and join us. Can we ask her to convert? Maybe. Ah, good. Um, that was not unexpected. This, however, uh, thank you for your virtuous for all your inspiration to me. Samela. Sure, Samela, I don't know who you are, but thank you. Gilly, however, has converted. She saw the the truth in my, in my words and took my religion. Sir Enric Penrose. Wants to fight Haddock Lannister. Haddock, you're useless. And now you lost a leg. No fish don't have any legs, so we're getting more accurate, aren't we, Haddock Lannister? Hopefully you don't die, though. You are severely injured. I, I want you to be around. I want you to create a dynasty. Before your bravery, we will give you a knighthood. Uh, your kinsman Haddock has proven himself to be a fine warrior. <laughs> you have him kneel before you. I don't think he has an option anymore. <laughs> He's always on one leg. <laughs> And uh, proceed to tap his shoulders with your sword. Haddock of the House Lannister. In the name of the warrior, I charge you to be brave. In the name of the father, I charge you to be just. In the name of the mother, I charge you to defend the young and innocent. And in the name of the maid, I charge you to protect all women. Fucking simp. In the name of the seven, I charge you to be just and honorable. Now, rise and hop along, boy. Minus 160. Jeez. What a great, uh, great warrior you are there. See, if this was CK3, I'd be enforcing it. I'd force him to be one of my champions right now. And we would just keep on having battles until I saw him kill someone. And it would take a while, because I did the same thing uh, in my Hungary campaign. We had Boril the Blind. And we kept sending this blind man onto the front lines to try and find his way. And it took maybe 10 battles, but he did eventually kill someone. So I rewarded him with a wife. And then he immediately died. Uh, so... We, we did get there right before. What is this? Have him kill kill this man. Good. Uh, so Igon Wayne is dead. I, however, am cruel and potentially ruthless. I am cruel and ruthless. Well, how about that for a cancer patient? Oh, castle. Oh, there's more colonization over this way. 
Where's my money gone? Are we still on here? Yeah, yeah, by a long shot. We could spend more money and take uh, Ori Castle. Where's Haddock? Haddock? Sir Haddock Lannister, I charge you to protect the land of... Well, all this shit over here. There's loads. There's a sept. We'll give him the castle and everything underneath. He can just take the last. Uh, so who has this? Oh, he has that. Sir Haddock of Hore Castle. Yes, but I'm sure there was multiple titles. There is a sept in here. Can we find somebody to be a sept? No, Jerry, at least. Obviously not an option. Um, wait, let's go back. Where's where's my... Yeah, Joanna, where, where are your brothers at? you got Tybold over here. He hasn't got any land, but he did just marry. You can make him a sept and, and make him give up his wife. Damon Lannister, Damion Lannister. Let's get rid of him. He's useless. Grants him the sept or whatever it's called. I'm told there's a city. Oh, the city is the top holding. I see. Well, let's grant you the uh, top holding then. And you'll now become Lord Haddock of Hore Castle. Very good. So we do need a new High Admiral, however. We'll give that to... Um, well, we've got two Prestors. Uh, two Firings, too. So they're all very good. Very, very good. Ellen Payne, he knows how boats work, doesn't he? Ah, Sunderland. He'll know how a boat works. New important decisions available. Shut the gates or ask courtiers to leave. Ah, we're getting a bit close to killing you. Anyone we can bribe? Yes. Haddock is now in a position where he can help. He's finally found his use as he hops along. Uh, Roos... No, not what you talk about. Uh, Jamie here would like a member of the King's Guard. We can send Roos Zomba. He's very good. We can send Arwood Frey or we can send Loras Tyrell. We'll just send uh, Arwood Frey. He's killed people. Philip Bad. Well, if you kill a man who's notorious for being bad, it's probably a good thing. Well done, Sir Arwood. You killed Philip the Bad. Sounds like a name for a cat. Philip the Bad. I know my cats are sometimes bad, although they're chill at the moment. Um, it's been it's been a busy week, introducing them slowly, whatever, but this is the first day when it's been basically they, they, uh, the kitten has had free room in the house. I've locked him away a couple of times just to give uh, Ganny the cat a bit of a break from him, but uh, it's open, they're both sleeping in different areas. Ganny is sleeping on my office chair and uh, Henry is sleeping at the end of my bed whereas me I'm here on the sofa recording on the sofa because well I want to mix things up a bit for my own comfort get a change of view around uh, around the house if I'm gonna be working all day I'm gonna be staring at my screen if I you don't know the layout of my house, why the fuck am I telling you? Basically, if I sit at my desk, I only see out the window. If I sit on my sofa, I can see out the window and my entire house. Since I am looking after these cats, I wanted to have a better view of everywhere. Elwood Wentz. Oh, so the Wentz are still alive, but barely. Very barely. You there, you must breed at once. I had a complaint on one of my videos. I, I say the word breed too much. But oh well, um, let's let's approve of this plan here. Let's have the Viper of Dawn do some. Whoa, 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 whoa. Regnard, Lannister, and this milady right here have married. I accept. Prince Regnard, you are Edison Tollett's son. Ah, good man. Cersei is how I'm married to uh, the title there. Alright. Uh, did, did this guy die? He doesn't look dead. He definitely does not look dead. Oh, so the pox is spreading out a fair bit. Where we got then? Stafford Lannister would like some stuff. I'm not giving him that much, but I'm not giving him anything. Fuck you, Stafford. Ah, success! Brilliant. New Warden in the East. Lord of the Vale. Of course. How many of you are there left now? Oh, there's loads. There's five. But they would be children again if we got rid of this guy, which does not look too likely. Still, we will uh, try our best to see him gone because I would like to give this land to the uh, the Tollet Lannisters. I really would. We might eventually kick off. Oh, especially if we can get Maud on board again. We definitely trust Maud. He hasn't fucked up anything ever. Maud is a genius. The Lords of the Vale have really got to start asking why Maud keeps getting so much money. Who's bribing Maud here? Why is Maud being paid? by people. We actually have enough people to go through the uh, plot though, that's that's good. 
Could we maybe send my spy master over that way? What could you do? Those spy network. Uh, I don't I don't see any of these things working. We'll just leave it where it is and hopefully it will uh, eventually happen. But uh, yeah, not this episode. We're going to pause in here, put a new commander down. It will be... Let's get Benedict, Master of Broom. We'll uh, end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying yourselves. Might have to give old... Wait, what happened? Where's Haddock? Haddock. Haddock. Haddock died. Uh, <laughs> his, uh, his leg was the end of it. Haddock is now gone. Rest in peace to the Fish Lannister. I will see you guys next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying the campaign. If you are, make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, why are you here? This is like episode 11 or 10 or 9 or some nonsense. You should be subscribed by now. See you guys next time. Goodbye.